Oh, it just stopped spinning. It's got some, it's got some uh, issues. <laughs> Would those be global issues? <laughs> Why? Why? I don't know. I don't, I don't know. It would appear they've had a pretty busy day here at Goodwill. Bring it up here and plug it in and turn that on so it's got power. And then let's try to figure out how this works. Oh, oh. I've been a reseller for nearly 40 years, and I can't imagine my life without thrifting. I've learned about a lot of things over the years, and I love to share my knowledge and adventures with you. So let's go be profitable and make it fun. Well, hello. It is time for another Goodwill thrifting adventure. It has been kind of a crazy week. I cannot believe it's already Thursday night. Where did this week go? I don't know. I'm getting ready to take a little road trip. And when I do that, I have to kind of cram. I have to get extra videos in, extra editing, because YouTube algorithm would not like it if I didn't put out a video every single day, even when I'm gone. So I am gonna have a fabulous time not editing for the days I'm gone. But to get to that point, I gotta shop. I gotta shop, I gotta shop, I gotta shop. Now the good news is, I'm so happy. Noah is jumping back into the editing game for me. So uh, you might see his little pop-ups on the screen again soon. Noah's getting a lot more involved with the videos again. Uh, thanks to all of your encouragement because he does read those comments. And so uh, he's gonna bring the people what they want. And so uh, without further ado, I need to get inside because I don't have a lot of time tonight to do this shopping trip. So I need to get in there and stay very, very focused on looking for things to resell. So without further ado, let's get shop done. All right, you know the drill. First things first, we gotta pick out a lucky cart. I feel like it's this little guy tucked right back here. He wants to hang on. He's hanging on for dear life. Okay. Is that... All right. We're making... No, he's got a squeak. He's got a squeak. Having a squeaky cart is not good for video. So, we cannot do the squeaky cart thing. We need a cart without squeakage. Okay. I think we found one this time. The color is blue. Let's take a peek at the furniture from this side real quick. You spot a really pretty mantle clock. It's made in China. It's not a name. It's just a cheap. It has no weight to it either. So not for us. And I did see this little globe over here. Or not so little globe. It's um. Oh, it just stopped spinning. It's got some. It's got some uh, issues. Would those be global issues? <laughs> oh, let's see, we've got Russia, we've got Central African Republic, something in here. I have to look it up. This whole Sudan, Chad, set, like this is one of the keys to dating these globes too. But I, I don't think that one is that old and it's got some issues and it's 60 bucks. We'll pass. Look at this marble topped coffee table. <gasps> Oh, that is really nice. And it's not broken. A lot of times these things are broken and it's only $40. That is an incredible price on that. I mean, I love it. I love it. I, it's not, it's not my decorating style, but I can appreciate that this is a really nice piece of furniture. <sighs> Looks very seventies, very seventies. All right. I don't, one last little glance. Okay, I don't see any furniture. That is what we are looking for. So let's get over here and see what goodies are on the shelves. Now I don't see any fresh carts having been recently brought out, but they might have. That means there might be fresh goodies on the shelf, which is what we are gonna look for. Oh, see, this is what I'm talking about. Now, the first time I saw this guy, he was not broken. But because he's a little, you know, 
wobbly and off, now now he's got a boo-boo. Now his chances of getting into a good home are even less. And that makes me sad. That's a very, 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 very much bummer. I have a couple of things people have asked me that if it's still there the next time you go back, can you pick it up? So I have a couple of things on my on my little brain shopping list to be on the lookout for tonight. And there's not a whole lot of exciting stuff on the tchotchke shelf here so far. Oh, what are you? Oh, I see Minnie Mouse on this planter. And I see Mickey Mouse on that side. And it's a mosaic. And it's a 2000 Welcomes and FDD Disney for $5.99. All right. First item in the cart. Oh, wait. Mickey Mouse. And there's another interesting piece up here. Look at that. It's a little family riding a bicycle. It's $3.99. That is really super cool. Oh, look, there's a little baby in a sling on the back. The mom, the dad, and then the child. That's a really, really neat depiction of a family. And it's $3.99. I think I will grab that. I'm going to look at these also. These are Mexican terracotta clay. Ooh, $40. Why? Ag, Ag, Aguilar, maybe, is what I see there. Okay, I wonder, I wonder if those are really $40 worth. They're not for me, that's for sure. Got a bag of shells. Oh, look at the blue starfish in there. Oh, $4.99. I don't, I don't, I don't need them. I don't, I like them. But I don't. I'm gonna be good. I'm gonna be good. Are you NASCAR, I think? Yeah, you're NASCAR, dude. NASCAR, dude. I think that's Dale Earnhardt, actually. Looks like him. And let's see. The little seasonal section is a little sparse. A turkey. For 20 Twit, twit. Why? Why? I don't know. I don't. I don't know. I mean, there's another piece here that's also twenty for the little pilgrim. No. Yeah. No. Not. No. No twenty. Cute little duck and blue is the color. So that'd make this just two dollars. That is actually a really cute. That would be a really good whatnot piece. Um, it's the kind of thing that, you know, it's a good impulse buy for somebody who likes ducks or who collects pictures. It's got a couple different uses and I can buy it right and I can start it at a dollar and I can sell it right. All this pastelness. I was thinking maybe it was a jellyfish, but it's not. It's a bunny with this, all of these frills. Okay. We don't need a bunny with frills. This box caught my attention. Avon 1981 tapestry collection it's a bell that's full I can tell it's full of cologne all right it would appear they've had a pretty busy day here at Goodwill the shelves are just a little shy of items into the heart of wisdom John Muir medical Film Festival 1990. All right, that's different. I don't know if it's desirable, but it's different. And these are rustic and cool. They came from Home Goods, $7.99. Yeah, I don't know. I probably would have picked those up for like $5 each because they are rustic and cool, but they're not old they're just made to look old so they're they're that vintage inspired not actual vintage that's a really cute halloween little wall hanging at 12.99 oh my goodness okay i was almost gonna get that oh look at this bird feeder 
unfortunately there would have been another little perch here and it's $7.99 that's really cute it's really cute but the perch is I mean yes you could replace it but I'm not going to just don't have time for such things another Hobby Lobby piece all right here is a metal hummingbird drinking out of a hibiscus. I'm looking to see how he would have been attached to something else. He's definitely, oh, it would have had the metal post right there. And so then he would sit like that. But he has been bent several times. So the paint is all worn, which means there's a little metal fatigue going on with that piece. That's too bad. Hmm. It almost looks like they haven't put anything new out today. It's really, really wiped out. Ooh, I like that. Because when you stop and look around, this life is pretty amazing. That is true. We have so much around us that is amazing. I like that. One of my little project pieces. Oh, that's happening. That's happening. I'm working on my project this weekend. So uh, if you haven't already subscribed, make sure you're subscribed. Hit the little bell notification so you know when I put up all those new videos because the project is beginning and this is gonna be one of the pieces. I think I looked at this leaf dish last week when I was here. Okay. All right, any fakeness tonight? No, no fakeness worth purchasing tonight. Noah snagged a couple of things from me out of my office today. A couple of things he says, ooh, I really like that. So I was like, well, then you shall have it. I think he's starting to get excited about decorating a new bedroom again. Now that he's kind of figured out how he likes to decorate, redoing it, having more wall space. Yeah, I do. I do think he's uh, embracing the idea. I think we're all kind of just looking forward to getting out of the scorpion infested house. I'm pretty sure we're all looking forward to that. I don't have much hope that there is anything in the plastics tonight, but we, uh, we must look, we must see. We must make sure. Yeah, pretty. You know what I need to find? I need to find a little, what do you call it? A sprayer. This just made me think of it. This is a, it's a fan, but it is a sprayer. It's a sprayer fan. It's a shamu. Uh, I need it for my air plants because the one I had by my air plants got snagged for the birds. And so I need another one. So I'm on the hunt. I'm on the hunt. I am looking at this little kind of an ambient sound machine. Yeah, I mean, I don't know why I find this incredibly cool. And uh, I think I am going to go uh, test it. I want to go test it over at their tester area. So I'll put it in there. It's not priced. It's probably missing. It had a box somewhere. What are you? You are Knowles. $12.99 on the Knowles. $5.99 for three pieces of Mikasa. That's probably a good buy. Not something I want to pick up and deal with, but I think that is a good buy. Let's see, it's kind of a pretty set. $4.99. $4.99. It's newer. It's like home goods. Let's see if there's any others here. I don't believe so. All right, we'll keep on moving. Let's see what we have over in the glasses. Hmm. Nothing on this first shelf. Those green ones down there. They have a bit of a mid-century look. I do like the little ball in the middle. Dollar ninety-nine. Good price. I just don't need to deal with them right now, but they are, they are, they're good. They're good. They're good if you need inventory. I don't need 
inventory. I'm looking for good inventory. Inventory that, okay, when I say good, it's either I know that I can flip it in my next whatnot sale, or I will have somebody through email say, hey, I wanna buy that, because I, I know my customers, uh, the things from you know history, what they, they like me to pick up and what they like to buy straight through emails. And uh, I do look for high-end things, but I know it's, it's kind of few and far between to find the high-end things at Goodwill. So I, if I only looked for high-end things and only bought high-end things, I wouldn't have any of that general inventory that I need to make up my bread and butter sales. So that's how that works. You have to have a mix of all kinds of stuff to make this business really work. That is a really cute mug. And it's a threshold. Threshold makes some cute mugs, I'm not gonna lie. Oh, what are you? Little dachshund mug. Who makes you? Oh, I can't even read that maker's writing. Oh, it's 10 Strawberry Street. It is kind of cute. I don't know that I like the color combo on that though. Let me know. Will I regret putting that one back? Let me know. I always welcome your comments. Which is also how I learn more. Let's come around the corner here and see. There's, there's not a whole lot of new items. I'm seeing a lot of stuff that's been here a while. I don't know what somebody did with that. Hmm, we may, might have a very light cart tonight. Lennox, it's, I'm looking to see if it's even got water in it. It doesn't feel like it's very heavy at all. It is $14.99 though. So we will leave the Lennox water globe that is not completely full. And let's see if there is any other treasures here? I like this canister. It's not old. It's just pretty. Oh, it's only two dollars. You know what? That's a that's a great canister for two dollars. That I'll pick up. And there it is. It's going to be like our go-to thing at every single Goodwill until it's gone. All right, now we're in the cooking stuff. Oh, the emoji. Oh no, that's not the emoji. That's not the same one I saw the other day, is it? Or is it? No, I feel like the one I saw the other day was True Emojis. This is something else. Still, not something we can use because it's Teflon. Somebody asked, why can't you use Teflon? It's because it is toxic to birds. If you uh, raise Teflon to a certain heat, it emotes a, an invisible gas and it will kill birds. Uh, and there's like, there's no, like once you figure it out, it's too late, they're gone. So we take no chances. This is a Scentsy, oh, it's all broken. The Heartfelt. And then there's another one over here, the, the Be Mine. That one's in good shape, but how much are they asking? 20 bucks, 20 bucks on um, the Scentsy. And there we go. All right. Well, this might not be my favorite Goodwill anymore. It used to be. That's okay. We evolve. We find where we need to be. Now, you know, Jordan is very, very into peeps. And I feel like, I feel like I'm gonna get this for her because Jordan also cooks. So that'll work good. Nightlight red reptile bite. So I don't use these. It doesn't get cold enough in our house to uh, need to put the nighttime bulbs on. But if you have a reptile that needs to stay warm at night, that's what these are. So they don't have like a bright light shining on them, but they can still stay warm. not finding anything over in this section either. Although that's kind of pretty, but I don't think 
Kleenex covers are a real easy sell. Although that is really pretty. And I'm like, what else could you do with that? What could you, you know what you could do? You know what, you know how you could repurpose these? You could put a planter. Yeah, see, cause it's open on the bottom. You could put a plant under there that just comes out the top. Ooh, that would be kind of, that would be kind of cool, huh? Just a little potted plant in there. And then, and then if it outgrows it, then you just move up to something bigger. <laughs> like, I don't know. I'm just thinking out loud. All right, let's look over in the crafty section. Again, I don't think they've brought any new carts out for a while today. This is the emptiest I have seen these shelves in a very long time, which means obviously they're selling stuff. So cedar hanger rings. Oh, I guess to keep the bugs out of your closet. I am going to miss my cedar closet. I am going to miss, but, but then I think, but if I own a house, I can put cedar in my closet. I can just remake the parts that I loved about this house. I mean, that is the exciting thing is that I'm not stuck with anything once I'm purchasing a home. I can make it everything I want it to be because I won't have to worry about, you know, remodeling and such because it'll be my own home that I'm improving. Poster board for 99 cents. Okay, see, now you guys are gonna tell me, but you can get that at the dollar store for a dollar, but yes, but then I'd have to go to the dollar store. Whereas here, it's dollar store price, uh, and so I don't have to make that extra trip, so it saves me. Let's see what we got in the lamps. I kinda like those little red guys down there. They are not old or anything. They're just kind of stylish and cute. That's kind of interesting. Little lantern lamps. Kind of interesting, but nothing. Nothing that we have to take with us tonight. Nope. Not tempted. Oh, wait. Who are you back here? You look like a dream pet on there. Doesn't it? Looks like one of those little dream pets. It is 15 though for just that little lamp. I think we'll leave him for that. All right, clocks and miscellaneous, small appliances. We're gonna go test that sound maker though. I have not forgotten because the testing station is right here. So let me Bring it up here and plug it in and turn that on so it's got power and then let's try to figure out how this works. Oh, oh, can you hear it? So that's white noise. Oh, let's see if I can, how do I change the... volume up okay all right let's see I'm doing this so you can hear it I don't know how to change the oh rain ambiance peace oh oh Oh, and then these are sleep modes, so they're stream, campfire, calm, meditate, this is rainforest, it's on rainforest, ocean, oh, tranquil. And relax you know I like this I like this a lot and it's got a timer and it's got like a fade and it's got all this cool stuff and it's sharper image and I am buying it so we are gonna have to move some things around to get through here but first we'll peek through the art that's in front of us oh I kind of like this one it's Amanda Amanda W A 
Warren, Wara, 98. It's a pastel. It's $5.99. You know what? I really do like that. I'm gonna grab that. Behind it, there we got a, a cheetah. Looks like a, oh no, it's not. I thought it was a, 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 a Ruan, Ruan, Ruan? But it's a J. Gibson cheetah. There, I see a duck over here behind all these frames. Let's move those over. Or is it a loon? Oh, I always get in trouble for calling loons ducks. It does look like a loon. What's on the back of that? Not a whole lot. And there's no artist name on that one. It is just a print. So we're gonna leave the loon. As nice as he is, and look at these little uh, 90s paper texture art, because there's two of them, but they're not very well done. It's more like doctor's office hotel art. There's a lot of that out there. Little lizard guy. He's, he's on like some kind of a textile. Not quite exciting enough for our purchasing tonight. Let's look up here. No, 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 no. I think I got the best piece here. I think I already got it in the cart. That's kind of an interesting piece. Almost looks like he's, there's like a face staring at me there, but I'm not sure that's meant to be a face. What do you see? Tell me, I know the bar's kind of in the way, but what do you see? What do you see in that art? Tell me in the comments. I want to know what you see. There's like a mixed media kind of, a, oh wait, what's this in front of it? Oh, just kind of like some band art. Look at this mixed media. It's like newspaper, you know. I think Rachel did something like this a few years ago in school. I like the colors. But, uh, nope, nothing else worth grabbing tonight. Oh, there is a pile of rugs all over the floor here. Let's see if we can squeeze through. Yeah, the, the store definitely is a little disheveled tonight. I'm wondering if they were just shorthanded. Ooh, that's a pretty rug. Let's look through the pillows real quick. See if anything grabs our attention. I don't see anything too exciting. I see an acorn and I'm thinking where there's an acorn there's a squirrel but there's not. No squirrel just the acorn. All right look at these guys. Oh, they're like brand new. Who makes you? You are fun for feet. Aroma home. Little shark slippers but they're 13. 13 dollars. No can do 13 dollars. Kind of a cute little purse. Just did a purse sale, so now I'm gonna have to stock back up until we do another purse sale. That's a really cute little watermelon pouch. You know, um, Rachel really loves watermelon, like watermelon stuff, but at six dollars. Okie dokie, it's gonna be one of those nights, and you know what? It's okay, sometimes it happens. It just happens. This is what a good death pile is for, right? I'm looking at in this cart. There's nobody around me shopping. There is nobody claiming this cart. And there's that little dog uh, wine bottle holder in here for $7.99. He is not very good quality, though. If he was a little bit better quality, I wouldn't mind paying that. So we'll leave him. Maybe maybe somebody's still coming back for him. Well, I got to the end here, and there are some pillows that are a little interesting. Let's, oh, they're nice quality pillows. But there's no name. I wonder if there is something on the inside. <laughs> Unzipping one-handed is no joke. Oh, my. Oh, they're just stuffed with fiberfill. Like, it's not even a pillow form. It's just, ooh. 
I don't think I like that. But I'm looking, sometimes there's a tag like right inside on the inside. So I know I'm getting brave. I'm sticking my hand all the way in there. Ooh. All right, nothing there, nothing there. So we don't know who makes them. They're kind of cool, but not cool enough for me to take tonight. All right, let's peek up at the toys. Oh my gosh, it's the horse from Despicable Me. Actually, it's a unicorn. I stand corrected. Uh, but he's huge and he's dirty. And I'm sure somebody that has time to clean him will grab him. Got a little hippo with a pouch. Hmm. That. What are you? Okay, I'm gonna look at your tag before I even look at, no, it's just a warning tag. What are you? You're a big rabbit beanbag. That's what you are. You're just a big rabbit beanbag. All right, there's nothing here tonight. All right, we are going to head over to the purse wall over here. I don't know, the fuzz, the fuzz attracted my attention. What are you? Rocket Dog. Is that a good brand? I don't know. I don't know shoes that well. I buy shoes based on if I like them or not, not like by the brand. One, phase one. I don't know what that is. Hmm. Why are there coffee mugs over in an end cap? See, you have to look everywhere. Your eyes have to be peeled at all times because you never know where people are going to stuff stuff that they end up not buying. All right, purse is purses. I see a cow print. You know, I'm attracted to the cow print. Who makes you? Do you have a name? I see no name. Should just look at the price. $12.99. Yeah, that's pretty much their typical price here. It's got some stains. I don't, it's not good quality. It's not that great. Nanette Lepore. I know that's a good name. I have picked that up before, but it's a kind of a nondescript purse. I mean, it's meh. It's just okay. And I guess I kind of do purses like I do shoes. You know, it's got to have a little, it's got to have a little personality. It's got to have a little oomph for me to pick it up. I'm all about the personality of things. That is cracking leather. So that's no good. Uh, let's see. Anything on this side? Mm, I'm going to say no. Although, the, yeah, that looks good from a distance. Not so good close up. All right, nothing in the purses. All right, let's take a peek in the jewelry see if there's anything. Hmm, those are fun. Uh, I don't see anything really calling me this time. Look down here. That's kind of pretty, that little, little blue guy there. It's not anything high-end or worth picking up. All right, I don't see anything this time. All right, well, I think that's it for us. I'm gonna head to the checkout. Stay tuned for the recap. I'll tell you everything I bought, how much I paid, and how much it's worth. That's coming up right now.
let me have the little sound machine for $2.99 and the little peep spatula for 99 cents. So pretty happy with that. And now I am uh, heading home. I wanted to show you what our sky looks like. Stand by. It's such a cool night. It's not hot at all. It's got all these wonderful, just balmy, wispy clouds. And there's the moon peeking through the clouds up there. Oh, I love a night like this. So, so cool. Just thought I would share that with you. Wondering what the weather's like where you're at. Yes, there's a doggy in a truck. Fortunately, it's not too hot to be in a truck right now. All right. It's a yard sailing morning. And it's a yard sailing morning because I made a deal with this guy. <laughs> Again, he says, if I don't have to work today, I'll go yard sailing with you. Because like, okay, let's do it. There's only four? We almost have four. We only have four stops, yeah. but if we see something on the but way. That's just what we found online. And now we'll kind of, and I didn't want to get too far from home because I do have to go to work today. I have to go to work today. Yeah, I know. You feel pretty proud of yourself. I might even make him drive part of this little journey because he can do that now. Been able to do that for a couple months now. I know it's so exciting. All right, but first stop is we have to stop and get some cash because you can't yard sale without cash. So we are stopping to load up on some uh, uh, presidents. Mula. Mula. Yes, and uh, get some water because it's going to get hot. Ooh, we found our first one, and it looks like a doozy. Well, I don't know. I don't see. I don't see any. I don't see one single vintage thing yet. But you know what? We're gonna go in, and we're gonna do what, Noah? We're gonna get shop done. All right. I see some glass. You see some glass? I see some glass. Right on. Lots of shoes. Uh oh. Music. Did you spot something you like? A clock? You have a clock like that. What are you talking about? You already have a clock like that. I still like it. Dear Mom, I wish you good morning, good afternoon, and good night. Your favorite. Huh? Oh, don't show that. Lots of very, very new stuff. That was like crackle glass, I guess. You like crackle glass? Oh. Well, those are okay. It's not my thing, but you, you get to like whatever you get to like. It don't matter what I like, if you like it. Green lighting, sky solar powered LED post cap light. I have an idea of what it is, but I'm not exactly sure what it is. Chair cushions. Kind of feel like I'm at Target. You feel like you're at Target a little bit? I feel like I'm at Target. Did you find Mr. Microphone? Oh, is that what you're making? Exactly yeah, like that's what you're making the announcements with. The store oh, will be closing in 15 minutes. That's actually got a really nice little sound to it. All right, Noah. Well, I think dog or kid pool. I think we might have made the drive over here. Candles. Or not. Because everything is new. All right. We don't need one of those. We need one of those as much as we need an umbrella. <laughs> well, that was disappointing. We, we drove 20 minutes to get over here because the ad sounded so good, like it was so huge. And 
Um, sometimes it just works out that way. All right, we found our second one of the day. Okay, that'd be handy if we actually had any floors that needed to be mopped. We still have carpet. Are those little, they're, are they, oh, they're mega constructs. They are not Lego. Okay. Oh, look at, he's a racing, he's a racing bear, Noah. What kind of racing is he? He's got a Formula One car. Oh, he does have a Formula One car. Well, there you go. Do you need a, you need a bear in your collection? No. <laughs> Peppa Pig. You need a straw hat. I don't need a straw hat. No, oh, he's an he's old-fashioned sock monkey. Find the ones that are really, really, really from the 70s. And then you got something. Rottweiler. More Rottweilers. I did love my Roddy. I saw one of these the other day and it actually had a top on it, like so it could be a coffee table. And then there was little stools that pulled out. Oh, is that what this is? Would you play it though, Noah? Would you? Would you? I don't think you would. Seems seems novel in the moment. And then it sits there. And nobody plays with it. Alright. Well, I think we're moving on. So we stopped to get a little bit of breakfast. We're here at uh, McDonald's. We're getting some hotcakes, hash brown, and a frappuccino. Egg McMuffin. She's got an Egg McMuffin. Yes. Mmm, nummy. Ooh, nummy. Oh, nummy. <laughs> okay, we found a sign. This is not the one we were heading towards. Noah's still in the car eating his breakfast, so I'm gonna handle this one by myself. Good morning. Okay, onward we go. Oh, that was loud. That was loud. All right, this one looks like it has some good potential. I see a little red desk that's so really cute. 
fit it in our car. Oh, look at that. It's got a little... We got enough space right now. Yeah, it's got some pretty deep gouges in it, though. That is really adorable, though. Books. Ooh, that's a cool mask. Hey, do your mask thing. What? what? You're slacking. You haven't done it for a while. Come on now. <laughs> it's very hot. It's been sitting out in the sun. He looks like he might even be teak wood. He's got some damage. Ooh, he's got a lot of damage. Oh, there's a couple of them in there. The gold Fish. cookbook. Oh, I like him. Is he made of leather? It feels like it. Hold on to him. I like him. Louis P. de Gouy. Oscar of the Waldorf, 1947. I like the cookbook. I like these. How much is your cookbook? It's going to be one of those ask prices. Oh, he's, gosh, he's kind of damaged too. Depends how much he is. Okay. Let's go ahead and make a little pile and then maybe we can wheel and deal. We don't know what their them? prices are yet. I like these. You yeah, hit a little. Oh, they would have attached to something. Were they attached to him? Yeah, see, those are his fish. Uh, he caught those. He caught those fair and square, and now somebody's trying to take them away. They're neat. Big old. What are you trying to spell? I don't know. Well, you'd have to put the Q and the U together somehow because the U always has to come after the Q. But there's not enough vowels, so we're in trouble. Oh, those are melamine. This is fun. Yeah, contemporary. <gasps> Ouch. <laughs> that hurt my ears. These are loud plates. Trying to look like pre Columbian pieces. Oh. It says Vetro Escuito Secondo Lata something. Basically, it's saying in the style of Murano. It's not Murano. That's pretty. Do you need me to pour you a cup of tea? Uh, that's not a teapot, honey. Is it water? Okay. It's a Turkish coffee. Do you want some coffee? <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's cute little cameras. They're very, very cheaply made little banks, though. These are like the same shelves we have. How about a bacon cooker, Noah? Perfect bacon every time. You drape the bacon over the lip and microwave it. No. No? No. You don't even want to try it? No. Where's your sense of adventure? It's not here. It's not here? These are fun. Yeah, I was just looking at those. I like those. <laughs> the real book about the Mounties. As opposed to the fake book about the Mounties, 1952. All right, put that in the pile because she said only a dollar a piece on those items. The original illustrated Sherlock Holmes, Noah. There's some some good reading. Grimm's Fairy Tales, and it's an older one. 1982, okay. Okay, we'll go, we'll go with that for now. We'll go with that for now. Oh, those got some age to them. Those look old. Well played. Well played. Wow. 
See anything else? Uh, maybe What's catching know. your attention? Why do I feel like that's going to be really hot? <laughs> Actually, it's not as hot as I thought it was going to be. It's all brass. Very neat. Those are cool. Those are cool. Can I see them? Ooh, these are cool. These are really cool. There, it's marked there. Oh, thank you. <laughs> nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. I want to say that says Montagnani? Mon? Mon? Something. Maybe this one has it easier to read. It is Italy. Those are those are really interesting. I see dragonware. Oh, I love dragonware. Hand painted craftsman. Is there somewhere something I can Japan? Ah, oh, no. Make them hold them. <laughs> craftsman China of Japan. All right. Let's put those in the pile too. Oh, those are heavy. Linda. Something. I don't do a lot with books, but I do like to have a few old books around. You know how to play that? Nope. Oh. <laughs> he said nope. I think it says Linda Overby on those. I used to play croquet in my grandparents' backyard. I did not. These are, these are kind of cool. I like these. Simple, yet uh, interesting. Look, you set them on like a print. That print would come through. It could be like any color reflected off of the bottom. I think I'll put those in the pile too. Ooh, trivets. Little celadon dishes are nice. Muriatic acid poison. <laughs> Caution. That's funny. Usually they make those out of like That's Coke bottles bottle. or beer bottles. Yeah, but but that one's actually out of a uh, bottle of poison. Hmm. Makes it special. Oh, he's got a chipped wing. Yeah. Oh, yeah. He was an adult. What's this? Little guy. Oop. James Tufts. Plate, quadruple plate. That was in there. Mm -hmm. ah, we'll peek through the jewelry. There's more. There's more on the patio. I like the space. You do? You have a space for it? No. No, I do not. I already got stuff in my room as Records. it is that I have no space for. The doo-wop sing-along songbook. <laughs> Records. $3 each or 5 for 10 I have to channel Will. I don't... I haven't watched him buy records close enough to know quite what he picks up. Mmm. Polkas. Polkas is it. Right, Will? I should be buying all the polka music for you. Robert Goulet. Bobby Vinton. Yeah, yeah, those are some oldies. Mm -hmm. Oh, Christmas kids. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Like this? I like both of them. That's cool. You don't have any more wall space right now. Right now. But you might but soon. I love things like these. 
that are just scenery. Yeah, landscapes, yeah. These have a nice color to them. They do. They do indeed. That's why they put that kind of stuff in hotel rooms. <laughs> It's a yellow one. It's a dry chemical fire extinction. Yeah. actually made up for all of the ones that had nothing and sometimes that is the way it goes well I have to uh, I have to head home we have a little semi-emergency at the store so I have to cut my morning of yard sailing short head in take care of that uh, Noah ends up having to work today which he was supposed to have the day off which works fine but he's a good sport he's a good sport Thank you, Noah. You go be profitable and make it fun. We'll see you on the next one.